How you guys doing? All right, this is day, I want to say this is day eight, nine. No, no, it has to be more than that. It has to be more than that. So we're going on two weeks now. This is getting exciting. I'm getting um, more thought-provoking and energized. The Holy Spirit is really working with me. So, hey, how you doing, Angela? Go Detroit. Yes. <laughs> so today I'm going to let some folk come on. I did tag a few friends and we'll see. We'll give everybody a minute to come on. But I'm kind of excited because as I was setting up, I got an idea. So, of course, as I got the idea, I figured I started planning for the idea. And then I thought, okay, Joyce, just get on because you're taking a lot of time and you got other things to do today. So, um, but I promised myself and the powers that be and everybody around me to say, I'm going to do this every day. And it seems like the, the morning is the best time to do it. So I figure I would do this in the morning. And it's kind of working out. Um, I was a little tired yesterday. And I crashed really early. Which is uncharacteristic of me. I went to bed almost like at a quarter to nine. But I still got up at 3.30. <laughs> So, but I enjoy it. That's me. I'm a morning person. Okay, so it's been a minute. So what I'm going to do, um, I know I had done I can. Um, somebody else came on. I don't know exactly. I can't see. Rika? Rika? Hey, how you doing? All righty. You're getting ready to do some hairstyles? Okay. All right. So I'm going to read my poem. I'll try to be successful because it's related to what I'm going to my plan. And I know I did I can yesterday, but um I uh they're still all related. We'll still you still can listen to all of them. Okay, I'll strive to be successful. I'll see it, I'll do it. I'll strive to be successful. What is success? Accomplishing a goal, finishing the task, and doing exactly what I plan to do. My standards are high, set by the will of our heavenly God. To be the best, aim for excellence with truth and integrity. I would not compare my process to yours, but what's for me is mine, and what's for you is yours. We are not in competition, but our unity will build a strong community. Anything is doable when I apply the efforts. Everything is possible when I don't give up and quit. Don't try to... Discourage me. I will only become more determined. I'll see it. I'll do it. I'll strive to be successful. Doing exactly what I plan. Accomplishing the goal. Finishing the task. I'll do it. I'll see success. Bam. And you will too. My name is Joyce Laverne. I am a youth influencer. I motivate preteens and their families with creative literacy, drama, and spiritual development. Welcome, 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 welcome. I am so excited. I am very excited. It's been a process. And um, interestingly enough, a couple of days ago, I was feeling a little weary. <laughs> and I needed some encouragement. And I did. Um, I follow several people. Um, but one of the people, uh, I follow Myra Golden and I follow... And recently I started following Tiffany Montgomery and I love the way she teaches and she encourages and she focuses on the scripture. And not that I don't focus on the scripture, but I am a word person. And um, because I am a sign language interpreter as a profession, I'm a sign language interpreter. And I've created a increase in studying words. So before I get too far off track about outside strive to be successful, when I was setting this up, when I was getting ready to do my rituals for the morning, I thought, well, you know, in 20, 
21, I did an eight week uh, Zoom with preteens. I'll strive to be successful. And it was really great. Uh, there weren't a lot of people on, but there were some, some young people that were participating. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare another just one hour kind of so you can get an idea what type of person I am, how I teach, how I work with young people, how I work with your preteens, how I work with your grandchildren or your children. On Sunday, between 4 and 5 o'clock, I'm going to do my program again, but I'm going to do a condensed version. So probably all day tomorrow, I'm going to work on trying to make it condensed so you get an idea. It might run a little over, but that's up to you. But it's totally it's, it's free. Just come on. And what I, what you'll do is I will post in the link that you go to my website um, and you uh, join my community. I will send you, I will send you the link to the Zoom for Sunday. And that Sunday is, um, today is the 50, 60, 70. So, so Sunday is, um, March 17th, before and 5 o'clock. I just decided to do this. You know, the Holy Spirit is really powerful. So I will send out the link to my website, which is I'llExpressIt.com. And I haven't, like I said, I haven't set this up. But if you join my community, hey, Kristen, if you join my community, you'll be on my, my email list. And I have to figure out how it goes directly to the Zoom. I don't know. We're, we're going to work this out. And I'm sure throughout today, I will post it so that you know exactly how it's going to be, how it's going to go. So at the same time, I thought about, okay, they always ask you, what are you going to say? What are you going to post? What are you going to um, put as your title? And my title today is, I'll work on the next plan. Okay, so of course, I'm thinking, okay, my next plan is what? Okay, God, what is my next plan? And instantly, I thought about Jeremiah 29, 11. And I know you guys know the scripture. Some days I know it by heart and sometimes I don't. So I'm going to make sure I read it on top of the fact I wrote all over my notes. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the thought. I have and think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, not evil, to give you an expected end. Now, how many of you guys know that? Give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. How you, do you know the scripture? And we say it, we, we have heard it preached and everything like that. But have you really thought about how this scripture plays in the English language? Well, like I said, I've been following Tiffany. I can't take all this credit, but she introduced us to the blue, the blue language. The, what is it? BLB. What does that stand for? The blue letter, the blue letter Bible. And it's an app on, um, well, it's an app on the iPhone. If you have an Android, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But maybe it's, you can get it on Android. I don't know, but I know it's on the iPhone. It's on the Apple products. So I, um, I, since I've started looking at the Blue Letter Bible, I've been able to really listen to or pick out the words and how they mean. And so in the Old Testament, they explain the Hebrew. And in the New Testament, they uh, give you more clarifications on the Greek words. And this is also strong, but this is, makes it easier because you can link, you're on your phone, you can do this really quick. So, if you have paper and pencil, oh, you can go back and listen to it. For I know the thoughts that I have and think towards you, which is really interesting because my type, my mode, my, um, my uh, tagline is, I'll see it, I'll say it, I'll show it. And part of me doing I'll Strive to Be Successful is how I break down, I'll see it, I'll say it, I'll show it. And what that means is that I'll see your needs, I'll say positive affirmations, 
and I'll show you how to get what you need to get or get your progress or get your success or show you how to make your progress. But I'm not going there yet. I'm going to make sure I go through this uh, this um, scripture. So, for I know, the word knoweth, which is continuous, because he twists the T-H, it's the, another word for knoweth is perceive, to recognize, to admit. This is God talking. He says he will perceive it. He will recognize it. He it will admit it. Thoughts, what is that? Thoughts are a device, a plan, a purpose, an invention. Wow. It's like, really? Think towards you. Now, toward you, which was really good, is that it was like an expansion above, of excess. Of elevation. I thought, wow, he's going to elevate us. And then thoughts of peace. Now, what does peace mean? You guys know what peace is. I guess you probably know what peace means, but young people need to understand these scriptures are powerful. So to know this will help them be a better person. I mean, I listen, when I'm teaching them, I get motivated all the time. So to understand what peace is, peace is completeness in number, safety and soundness in body, welfare and health, prosperity, tranquility and contentment, friendship, friendship, human relationships and with God, especially in a covenant relationship. And so you're, so his thoughts are of peace, not evil. Now, of course, evil goes a long ways, but I'm going to give you some words about evil. Disagreeable, unpleasant, displeasing, bad value, sadness, unhappy, hurtful, vicious, disposition, a disposition personality, wicked Wicked actions and deeds. How about that? Woo! So, now, to give you an expected end. Hope. For a good outcome. How about that? After you, I mean, when you break this down and you really read it and you really understand and you put it in your heart and you think about this every day, every word, every intention that God has for us, we can't go wrong. We just have to keep saying this over and over and understand what is in there, what is in the message. I mean, this scripture alone, but of course, some of this is about the relationship. So it's very important we have a relationship. I can't not emphasize the relationship has to be there. There has to be not only just a relationship, a covenant relationship. And that's a whole nother conversation. So once you understand the covenant relationship, you can understand why you get all this promise. And so I'm not going to labor long. I have been on for 14 minutes so far. And I'm going to try not to go on and on because I can. But I wanted to stay focused. But I also I want to say, yes, some of this is my opinion. But I feel like I'm led by the Holy Spirit to do this. I feel like I have a special gift to work with children, specifically preteens and their families. And I enjoy sharing my knowledge. I, it just gives me great delight. And in recent years, I have gotten a, just a joy doing the 
research and understanding the language and understanding what it really means and really going through and assessing myself. Um, my, not my first pastor, but one of my special pastors, Pastor Jay, Pastor Wilma Johnson, one of the things she always would emphasize is that you have to look at yourself too. So, I mean, initially I was kind of dysfunctional. I was a dysfunctional believer. But the more I started working with young people, the more I start understanding what I was dealing with, what I had been dealing with all my life. And as a sign language server, we would say assess it's like you got to get in there and crawl it out and move every. <laughs> and that's what I had to do for myself. I had to dig. I had to let it out. I had to get it out, learn and get the new covenant, get a, a better relationship with God and be committed. And so that's what this live is all about. That's what Sunday is going to be about. I'm going to allow as many as want to, to join, bring your preteen on. Of course, you need to be a preteen. I need to see a preteen. I need to see a young person. I will even go up to 18 years old, but I need to see a young person. This is for my preteens. I'm not saying, of course, you're going to be there. You can see, but I need to see the preteen. It is a Zoom. Um, so that's a part of it. If I got to be shown on camera, everybody's got to be shown on camera because I don't like all this either. But the point is to be dedicated to our covenant relationship with God. God is going to be, he's going to do wonders this year and I am believing it and I am excited about being a part of it no matter what. So um, yes, again, you can go to my website. I did read, I try to be successful right now. It's in poster form, 16 by 20. And also if you want to bring your preteen on the, on the zoom, that's going to be Sunday at four o'clock, uh, for about an hour. I'm going to try not to belabor too long and, um, just go to my website I'llexpressit.com. Join my community. I try to figure out how to do it specifically to go to the link or or how on the phone or you can DM me. I don't know how I'm going to exactly do it because I've never done this before. So we're learning together. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that fabulous? We're learning together. So you can look back this a year and say, wow, I was a part of her first project. And so, yeah. So I won't belabor you and thank you for watching and those that will catch the replay. Great. I'm yeah. Come on back in and watch the replay and thank you. I appreciate you. Have a marvelous, fabulous, fantastic day. And I am looking forward to what's going to happen in your lives, how things are just going to come together. Bye.